Okay, what's up YouTube? Brick Breaks here, and today we will be reviewing Generation 1 Optimus Prime. So here we are, here he is, and first and foremost, before we get to the actual toy itself, we'll just take a quick look at his box. Very big. Autobot Commander Optimus Prime includes snap-on weapons and accessories. He just wrapping up Hasbro. Got that picture, got a nice picture of Prime right there with his weapon. Transforms from tra tractor trailer to robot with headquarters and back. You can see some obligatory product shots. On the bottom, you got some more product shots. The Transformers more than meets the eye. Up top, you got Transformers more than meets the eye. Up here, you got start, change, 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 finish. On this side of the box, you got a picture of Prime in his robot mode in his vehicle mode. On the other side of the box, you got those exact same pictures. On the back of the box, you got that lovely classic g one artwork there. Hmm. Transformers more than meets the eye. You have that right there, which you can read. If you want to, ha he, he, ha 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 done. Down here, you got his tax backs. You got his bio. If you want to read it, robot points, all that good stuff. And that's basically. For, I'm not throwing this. I'm not throwing this, which leads me to a point I get. I need to make with this. Originally, when I bought this, I thought I was getting a reissue because it said reissue in the description. But after examining the box and the stickers and the way it was packaged and everything. I'm 99% sure that this is an original box. It's in very good condition. Mine was never open. And one quick thing that I want to make, one little statement I want to personally make to my mother. Mom, I know you're watching this. I don't care what you say. I am keeping this box. I don't care what you say. I'm keeping it. So that's basically for the packaging. So let's get down to the nitty gritty, which is Optimus Prime, and here he is in his vehicle mode. Very classic G1. Money. Hmm. Very Optimus Prime. Very, very G1. -y. Very Optimus Prime is what I was trying to say. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got the chrome grill and bumper. You got the headlights, windows. Hmm. I haven't put any stickers on him, so he's very plain. He has the rub symbol here too, which does still work actually. Gotta apply actual heat. Look, he's an Autobot. Yay, in case you didn't already know. Let's take a look at the trailer. Let's take a look at its details. You got the big stripe right there. Autobot symbol molded in lines right there. You got the wheels. Got the back gate with that detailing. Same details on this side as on this side. There's the top. And there's the bottom. You only really need to see that. Get him back there so we can get them all in shot again. Eh. Of course, with G ones, he's got diecast bits, and he's have he has rubber tires, which is a feature that is. Sorely, sorely, sorely missed with Transformers these days. Because these days, they pretty much fall apart easily. But these guys, they were solid, they're tough, they're b they were built to last back then. Which is why it's very easy to find them in good condition these days. After, you know, 30, 60 years, although some of them are going to be broken anyway. But I found this guy, I went for it. I wanted this figure. And due to the die cast, the rubber tires, the way it was made, it, it rolls. Like a dream, like as rolling things should. So there you have that. And for comparison, here he's with Earthrise Leader Class Prime. You can, see, as you can see, 1984, 2020. That's that's evolution right there, ladies and gentlemen. There he's with Earthrise. Leader Prime, which is an amazing figure, by the way. Here is with the Walmart reissue Generation 1 Prime with 3D printed trailer, because yes, I am a 3D printer. And in case you're wondering, because I'm sure somebody is, that trailer does roll good. So 
wasn't there yet. That, but the here's with Generation One Blitzwing. Here's with Generation One Astro Train. Here he is with Generation 1 Bumblebee, and here he is with Generation 1 Hot Rod. So they have a little family going on right there. Okay. So there you go. Oops, they died. So now let's talk about accessories. He does include his rifle, which is the mold that came with the Diaclone figure. with some missiles which we'll get to in a minute and he does have more accessories that we'll get to when we get to the transformation and the last accessory I'll show off for now is this thing right here which in case you're wondering mm -hmm. and in case you don't know what that is that is a decoder you might be wondering oh what did decoder for brick breaks I'm about to teach you something cool. So this is where we have to bring his box back. As you can see, his text backs down here. You can hardly read them. With well, this, you can read his text backs. Get your wondering what I'm doing. I'm giving you a chance to read those. So hi, -e oh, da da dun. See, there you have that. So that is basically it for his vehicle mode. What you see is what you get, and yes, I haven't stickered this guy up. I will probably end up doing that soon, but I'm just not sure. So let's get down to his transformation. First, we will stabilize. Hmm. Oh, one, one last thing. I'm pretty sure. So, in case anybody cares, because I'm sure somebody is wondering. Yes, you can store other figures in the trailer. We'll just bring in G1 Bumble Meister for example because the space is in there is occupied so yeah it's hollow in there hey bumblebee bumblebee just not doesn't want to stay on that table so there we go. that's so uh, let's get down to his transformation starting with prime himself take the trailer bring these bits out to stabilize it and we'll put it back here for now so transformation you've seen it a billion times but I'll show you one more time the noise down feet up open up the cab to get his fists if you don't have them stored in there well if you do good for you take the fists plug them into the headlights this is just how I do it in you don't have to do it in these specific order. This is just how I do it. Bring the arms out. And of course and his fist fell off. Hmm. Don't worry, I found it. You know it's G1 when pieces just start falling off. Flip the head up. And there you have him. There you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode and he looks like g1 prime it's getting close here for the head as you can see that this that is a weird head sculpt that does, that is not the g1 prime head sculpt it's just a little this is a japanese takara figure so what are you gonna do now i have to refocus this camera a lot now articulation wise if you undo that you can have him looking up squirrel and we the arms are on a ratchet joint. They can do a full 360 without his fists popping off. That is G1. They can go forward and back. You got 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You have bicep rotation and you have wrist rotation since it ports in. And the legs can't go forward, but they can go back. And he is a knee joint, and the toes move down. 
doesn't serve too much purpose, but it's a thing that moves if you need it to. And of course, he can hold his gun. We'll bring his gun. One thing I have found out about this figure, I don't know if it's just my copy or what, but when he holds his gun, it's very loose. That's an easy fix. That's just, that's just putting some tape around there for some friction. There is he can wield his gun, he can hold it. So for comparison, here he is with Earthrise Leader Prime, which that's pretty close size wise. There you have that. Here he is with Walmart's reissue of G1 Prime that came out two years ago. Hey, that that's one thing I like about this Prime a lot better. It doesn't have it doesn't do that at will. So there you have that. Here he is with G1 Astro Train. Here he is with G1 Blitzwing. Last but not least, we'll get a little family group shot here. Here he is with G1 Bumblebee. And here he is with G1 Hot Rod. There you go. So that is basically it for Prime himself. We'll put him back here for now. And we'll bring in the trailer. So to transform this, you just want... We already have these things out, the stabilizer, so you're just going to want to bring the gate down, crack this in half, they have a little combat deck. Of course, you can raise the drone up. You can bring out this little claw. Raise this up, and this can open. I just haven't tried to open it yet because I don't really care right now. And we'll bring in this, the missiles. This is where the missiles come in. For some reason, on mine, that missile hole works well, whereas this one just does that at will. But they do f still fire. Still works. And now I've lost them in this trailer. Why are they? It's okay. I found one of them. I didn't find the other one. We'll find it on the one while we're reviewing this. The other gimmick that does also still work is push this little switch back here and what the roller can roll out. Now you have Ruler with his gas pump, which is also a welding torch when it's attached to the trailer for repair bay mode. And in case you're... One weird... Th one thing that I find pretty weird is when I unboxed this guy, I didn't find a hose for these pieces, so I just took a pair of old earbuds, cut, cut a wire out of them, and super glued them into the ports. Put that off to the side. And one cool thing I have discovered about Rollers gimmick is that this right here we'll re roller has two plug plugs on the back of them that plug into these ports but when you push it back this black section also pushes back so if you totally wanted to you can take some other autobots and eject them out of the trailer that's kind of dangerous right there so now let's get this trailer into repair bay mode, shall we? Let's. So all you want to do is just stand this up, and the other missile fell onto the floor. Raise up a bit, get getting tall.
And of course the claw can open. So that... And this is where I am not sitting down on the job anymore. So of course we can bring in the gas pump and it can just port right in there which is where you can also store a Prime's rifle too. Plug it in right there. Now I'll try and get this into the robot arm so he can work on Prime. So I got in the robot arm. Let's move this all the way back for all in shot. Take Prime. Put him in the repair bay. And he can get worked on. robot drone thing can come in and just repair him up. That looks cool. I don't care what anyone says, that is just cool. And in case anybody is wondering, because I am sure somebody is, speed transform my off camera. Here it is with the battle station for Earthrise Optimus Prime. And because, just because we'll bring in Earthrise Prime himself. Which G1 definitely dwarfs this by a long shot, so. Which one of these sets is, play sets is actually your favorite? Earthrise or G1? Mine's gotta be G1. And one quick thing to note about the Earthrise battle station whenever you get this set whenever you put it into this mode there are no stabilizers all there is is this which why I don't know why they didn't put those in to stabilize these because they can bend that way put this off to the side so that's basically it so there is generation one Optimus Prime and this is Brick Breaks signing off peace out